friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing, and I would like to introduce you to the newest member of our household. This is his official debut video, and this is Zeus. And this isn't the first dog I've introduced you to in my pajamas, but last time I had a cup of coffee when I introduced you to Star, I didn't make that mistake this time. So this is Zeus. And Zeus came to me through a rescue called Hope's Haven, which is here in Salem, Oregon, and you can find them on Facebook. And they help people rehome dogs, medical, behavioral, whatever it is, uh, to get them into fosters as quick as they can to get them out of bad situations and not have them be in shelters. So that's how I got Star. And Star was amazing. He was but my heart wasn't ready and Star was 53 pounds of puppy. That's a lot for me. This is 29 pounds of nine year old dog. Look at this cute face. Do you look nine? Do you look nine? No. Okay, so this guy is B-A-L-L -L crazy. So I didn't bring one into the video. We do have this Kong here, which if we tossed it would start to activate something. He is not super treat motivated. These are my Pooh Bear's favorite treats. Well, second favorite. These are made by Tricky Trainer. They're Tricky Trainers, which is made by Cloud Star, and they're made in the US, not sponsored, just telling you, if you're trying to do training and you have a dog that's not food motivated, these are good. These are the cheese ones, the soft chewy with cheddar. As a human, these are my favorite to use. Pooh's favorite, and Santa brought him some, is the liver one. The liver, I do not like to say keep in my pocket and take on a walk and use here and there because you pretty much have to wash your hands. They smell horrible. But the cheese, I can live with. So I can reach into the bag, tell him good job for coming inside when I told him to, and he's happy, right? And he loves these. So if you have a dog that isn't super treat motivated and they're soft, and sometimes I even break them in half for little ones like this. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? He says, oh, I'm learning manners. Yesterday, he had a fit in the backyard because he wanted to stay outside with Mr. Crafting and Relaxing, but he went into the shop and he just wanted to lay in the grass. And it was uh, 25 degrees, I think, and icy. It was covered in ice. So he had a little fit and wanted to stay out there, but I said no. Uh, if you adopt a dog, you need to understand there's a time commitment whether it's a puppy or a little old man who has funny behaviors that you don't know about. Yeah. So this guy, he um, lived with a the family. They went through a divorce and he ended up in a situation that wasn't ideal. And I don't want any comments about bad humans. That's not what this video is about. This video is about uh, crafting and relaxing and welcoming Zeus and supporting adoptions but he just ended up in a bad situation and he was essentially tied in a shed for many months and I think people came and fed him and maybe played ball with him once a day. It just wasn't a very good situation. My guess is it had something to do with the fact that he marks. He is a nine-year-old unaltered male, so altering him will fix some of his behaviors and issues, but it's not gonna fix that. There's almost, for every behavior, there's almost a treatment, training, or something you can do. My Pooh Bear and my Wilson were anxiety dogs. Uh, Pooh was separation anxiety and confinement anxiety all day long. This guy doesn't come with behavior issues so much. He just needs to learn. He hasn't really had like the sit, stay, wait, come, leave it, Zeus manners that I expect a dog to have. I mean, even my Wilson had some more basic commands. This guy does not know the word dinner. He doesn't know the word food. I don't know if he didn't speak English or if just no one talked to him. So we're working on all of that. Uh, he's pretty good about leave it. Oh, he loves to snuggle. He loves to lay and snuggle. Sadie, our tiny elderly cat, is the boss of him already. Today was the first day. He's been here a little over a month, I think. And we all laid on the bed. Now, I'm not totally convinced Sadie knew he was there, 
what happened was we were puttering around and I lost track of Zeus. I was feeding Sadie and doing stuff. And then I went and looked for him and found him in bed with Mr. Crafting and Relaxing. And so then later I went and joined them and then Sadie came in too and sat down. But I don't know for sure that she knew he was even there. She's She doesn't smell as well as she once did. Sometimes you have to literally show her her food. So she might not have known, but he didn't bother her. He does not bother her. He's very polite. So we're doing great. Are you cute? Yeah, he says, I want to see the treats, not the camera. Uh-huh. I knew it would be harder to film with him. Star just laid on his bed and looked handsome. This guy is busy. He says, I'm busy. I'm a busy guy. I have a lot of toys. You would not have any idea that he's nine years old. And we're just going to spoil him rotten. And he's working his way through his vaccinations. He's been to the vet twice, got his ear infections fixed up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and then gonna go back and get some more vaccinations and then hopefully make a snip snip appointment. Uh, I am a firm believer in altering dogs, all dogs. I'm sure your dog is totally cute, but no, your dog does not need to have puppies. I assure you, if you are looking for a pet in your life and you can't find one, you're not looking hard enough. The rescues are full. California, Texas, Arizona, there are states that need so much help. And we were looking at others, but chose him for a couple of reasons. First, uh, I need a smaller dog, right? I mean, Wilson and I were in love, but he wasn't, he was too much dog for me. And uh, we wanted to help around here if we could. There was a California dog that came from the same rescue as Wilson that I had sent an email on and not heard back and probably would have taken and was a giant uh, project, like emotional recovery project, but I would have done it, right? You just, you do. So don't adopt a pet unless you're willing to put in the work. Rescue or not, puppy or not, they come with work. This guy, except for marking, is totally potty trained. He's had two situations in our house. Both were Sadie's territory. One was where she ate the first day he walked in. And then yesterday I was rearranging her stuff a little because I thought, oh, she might like to have her bed out in the rest of the house. She has her own room where she could hang out because he's really not a bother to her. He's never barked at her when he looked at her through the side glass door for the first time, she gave him a very stern look and he panicked and walked away and he still does. And when he falls asleep on the couch, she comes out and walks around him like a shark and stalks him and then get up, gets up on the couch and looks at him like, what's he doing? So anyway, I went in to rearrange her bed and he had sprayed, he had marked right next to it. So pretty sure he got it. And also I had to clean that up, but two in the house, He's not, because of the marking, I can't like take him to my mom's house, right? That's not gonna work. Um, there are, which I didn't know about, tricks from rescues. There are things called belly bands. And so you put this around their well self with a feminine hygiene product, works pretty good. So I tried that on our second trip to the vet because our first trip to the vet was an embarrassing nightmare. And we're working on our little behavior things I would love to sign him up for classes, but you can't take your dog to classes until they are vaccinated. And I don't know about altered. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have them altered unless it's puppy class. We're just working through it. He's really good. He chases the ball, loves that, loves to play. See, doesn't even seem to know that word. But if I told him to go get it, he would walk me to the garage door. We uh, keep it put away because he cannot relax if it's here. He has to give it to you constantly. But look how cute he is. I hope the camera's not too high so you can see his cute little face. I absolutely love the Spaniels, the King Charles Cavaliers. And, but again, right, I would never buy a puppy. And I had a couple chances to adopt, but it wasn't good timing for me in the past. Like I said, you can find anything you're looking for. And Mr. Crafting and Relaxing said, you know why you think he's so cute? And I said, why? And he said, he has a face like a King Charles. And I was like, oh, he does. He has a little spaniel face. When I first saw his picture, I thought he was like a full-size retriever. It was a sitting photo. There was nothing to scale it. So he's not, he's not full-size, are you? He's not, no. 
and he's sweet to everyone he meets. He kissed Noni the first time he met her. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that. He's a kisser. So this is Zeus and he's pretty good in the craft room. I have lifted a lot of stuff up because I was a little nervous, but I think now it's probably okay as long as it's been here. I need to be careful and conscientious when I bring new stuff home. Mary gave me a bag of treasures and I did not put it on the ground except for just a second to grab a picture of it. And it was cute because Sadie was with it. But that's something that I'm really trying to be careful with. And when I asked Mr. Crafting and Relaxing, hey, do you want to get a Christmas tree? He said, well, Zeus is going to pee on it. And I was like, oh yeah, he will. So we skipped that, huh buddy? Come, on up. Come here, come get your sugars. Oh, isn't he just the cutest thing? Isn't he just the sweetest thing? And he will take naps. Yesterday we got up early and then we took naps for like two hours on the couch. Oh, he's so tricky trainers bump up his food motivation big time. Uh, dogs that aren't super food motivated are a little trickier to teach and train and learn. So you have to find the right treats and just keep working through them. Use the other ones for something less exciting like, yay, you went potty, which you already know how to do, or um, maybe keep them by the front door when people come if you're trying to manage his attention a little, but they're not gonna work for uh, C-O-M-E or uh, he doesn't really know down fully and now he's leaving. Hey buddy, you don't get to wander around by yourself. Yeah, no. So I don't worry about him with Sadie at all. I just worry that he's going to pee on my stuff. <laughs> and he does get to go in the other room and get his toys and come back and forth. But the pace was more like sauntering stroll and I'm going to run and get my toys. I think that's it about Zeus. He uh, was medically really, really behind. He once was very loved and just maybe not to the level that my household is going to spoil and run. Santa brought him lots of toys and we've already busted some out. He does not get the bob lot at all. See, it still has stuff in it. He doesn't get it. He likes when the treats fall out, but he hasn't figured out that he can tip it and get the food out. Um, Pooh totally got it. Wilson thought you were supposed to pick it up and slam it into the wall until the treats fell out. So this isn't a toy for everyone. <laughs> Um, he loves squeaky toys and he is an aggressive chewer more or the same as star so like a uh, bigger dog like pit bull kind of thing that's why he has a black Kong Kongs come in a couple different colors it's kind of a weird dog video huh um, red is normal black is super sturdy so I bought Wilson a black one years ago, bigger than this. He didn't need it at all. His attention span was so short that he wasn't an aggressive chewer. But Pooh would rip stuff up and so will he. So he likes squeakies, but we've gone through a bunch of them. And Noni gave us a bunch of balls and toys and some of them lasted like five minutes. I think that's all I have to tell you about Zeus. Just remember that adopting any animal is a commitment. It's not something that you buy someone as a gift. It's a conversation you have. It's work to prepare your house. It's like three months of, okay, we have to teach this dog. We have to get it a habit. And then it's sometimes decades of a commitment. So think carefully before you do it, but he's totally worth it. What are you doing, little man? Where's my Zeus? Where's my Zeus? Oh, there he is. Oh, what a good boy. What a good boy. Yeah, we're going to treat that, aren't we? Are we going to treat that? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes. What a good dog. What a good dog. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's from our house to yours. And I hope you're all warm and healthy. Bye-bye.